this is where it's such dangerous ground for Brian Flores is it's Brian Flores against 30 of the richest men in the world. You want to say the machine and Mark Davis. <laughs> and this will be, they will, th- this will be, I, I don't, I'm, I'm not going to pretend to fully understand this reference, but I think I know it enough to grasp it. This is Thanos now. Mm-hmm. And the NFL's got all the rings and they're going to destroy Brian Flores. And you're seeing that one statement at a time, first from the NFL, now from, you know, the New York Giants. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure there will be, I'm sure there'll be more to fo- follow. Mm-hmm. This is a, you know, Flores knows there's precedent. Colin Kaepernick, like he ain't seeing the National Football League again. Like he's right. done. Yeah. Um, and he said as much. He said, mm-hmm. like, I'm likely not going to get hired, but it's bigger than me. But it, throughout history, especially for African-Americans in sports, they've always had to put themselves out there, knowing that they may not get the next job. They may be out of the league forever. Mm-hmm. Um, and we go, you know, we look at somebody like Muhammad Ali, who was hated, hated during his time. And, you know, towards the end of his That's life, right. like, Muhammad Ali was amazing. It's just mm-hmm. like with Martin Luther King. He was yep. the most hated man in America. And now it's, oh, my gosh. Mm-hmm. It's, you know, we have these short memories but they put themselves on the line for the greater good and hopefully making some progress and calling out what they have experienced. And we already seen folks like Hugh Jackson and they're coming out with their stories about what they experienced. And a lot of times it takes that one person to put themselves out there in order for other things, uh, you know, for the pins to fall. 